Hey guys, it's Chris Prefontaine here with another seller question that came up on the seller Q&A. And I just want to remind you, uh, I'm sure the seller is looking at this section. Just um, shoot me a question. Um, it's a lot easier to review my site, review everything we're doing, and then shoot me over a question that you want answered. The recent one that came up, it actually came through one of my students because I also teach this. And the question was, uh, what if I just lease it out myself? I can do that. You know, I've gotten that a few times. My, my student got it twice. I don't know if it's how he's approaching it, but let me just address it. First of all, uh, as a prelude to that, if you are right now renting a home out and you're considering should I sell it or rent it, I can tell you emphatically that you will get more money with a lease purchase program and you have none of the headaches, which I'll address in a minute. Okay? So if you're used to renting it out anyway, it's an investment home, it's not your primary residence, no brainer to talk to me about the lease purchase program, I promise you that. Let me, let me address the question and then I'll answer that, that issue as well. So let's say you have your primary residence or that home that's a secondary rental, and you th you're thinking, oh, I, can just, I can do that myself, I can rent it out. Most people think of rent to own as, I'll rent it out, I'll give so-and-so an option to buy it. I can't tell you how many calls I get from people that are saying, yeah, I did one of those, it didn't work. Guys, it works every time with ours. And then we, well, there's 1% of the time it doesn't because people have life events that happen that I can't help, like death, divorce, move out of the state, okay? But other than that, they work every time. Let me give you a few advantages, three or four, no particular order. Number one, we never put a tenant buyer, notice I didn't say renter, tenant buyer in a home without skin in the game. If you look at the buyer section, how rent to own works, you'll see three to 10% is roughly what they're gonna, they're gonna risk on their side. What you and I do with that money is up to us, but I can tell you that your net's not gonna be affected, okay, by our assignment fee, it won't be affected. You'll get your net plus, and if you look at any of the seller testimonials, you'll see that's the case. Uh, so that's one, skin in the game. Number two, I should have put this one first priority wise. We have spent the better part of six years on the forms we use and the attorneys tweaking the system. So there's a lease purchase agreement with a very specific rider that's separate from the lease. There's huge reasons for that. I'll address it when we meet one on one. That's just been from learning. There's a, a buyer's disclosure where they have to agree to take the property as is, to do all the necessary repairs as, as time goes on, to take on any and all maintenance costs after the 30-day window, um, to pay the taxes. All that comes off your shoulders and all that's in, a, in the form with the buyer, the tenant buyer, with the attorney that gets signed. These are all closed with attorneys. Now, do you have to do that with a lease option? No. We do them all with an attorney, so there's no misunderstanding. They get notarized and they know what they're doing. They also sign an addendum that actually commits them to credit repair. They have to. It's part of their, their, their skin of the game. Now you're talking about a buyer that has 10, 15, 20, depending on how big the home. We did one for 900 grand recently, so it's 40 grand. Whatever it might be, they have all that skin in the game and they have to jump through all these hoops, which is rightfully so, with giving them an asset in order to get, uh, to get the job done or they're in default. Okay, so all the forms, I can't tell you how many thousands of dollars have been spent. I would guess six or eight grand on these forms. So that's the second one. The third is credit repair. We are, we are affiliated with a national investor group. That investor group uses, they probably use some other ones too, but it, a lot, most of them use uh, mycreditteam.com. You can check it out if you want. Also, you can check out screenthetenant.com. The bottom line is, this guy knows what he's doing, Paul Ritter. Paul's been in the business 20 plus years. Joanne Ritter and team, they're phenomenal. So they plug into this, this system. That's the third thing. I already mentioned taxes and maintenance. That would be number four and five. And then, I, your cash out at the end, is independent of the monthly lease payments. Okay, so I want you to think about this. How we structured is, let's just use a number. Say your home's worth 500,000. You say, Chris, I want 500,000 net. I'm probably, independent from our assignment fee, gonna get you 500 plus net net, but all the payments that are made along the way, assuming you have a mortgage on the property, all the payments that are made are not credited to price. So in addition to the 500 plus net, you're gonna get monthly payments and presumably, if you have a mortgage, you're going to get some principal pay down over the next year or two or however we structure it, right? So you have an advantage of principal pay down there as well as a full net. And guys, the, the, the short answer, if you said to me, I can do this on my own, my short answer would be, you can't dial it in like the system we have. Let me show you our system. I'll go out. I'll plug a tenant buyer into our system, and you'll be the beneficiary of that. Okay, I hope that helps. That's for the seller side of things. If you have other questions, go ahead and click the, um, or fill in the form rather, that says Ask Pre-Properties or Ask Chris and Nick. And uh, I'd love to chat with you. I'd love to throw a, uh, another video out to answer your specific questions. Make it a great day.